Good afternoon. The Alberta SPCA says it has some big questions about the way a suspected rabies case in the Lethbridge area was handled. The SPCA says rabies are federally listed as a reportable disease and even suspected cases have to be reported to the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. The CFIA then conducts a field inspection to collect samples for testing. The SPCA says the CFIA normally responds immediately and they're wondering why that didn't happen this month when a suspected case was reported on an acreage near Lethbridge. The family that reported the case is now undergoing rounds of rabies shots and their pets have been destroyed as a precaution. Terry Vogt reports. Nash. Lisa Schlichter says she and her family feel let down by the federal agency that's supposed to investigate and prevent the transmission of animal diseases to humans. She was put in touch with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency earlier this month after a stray cat that showed up on the family acreage became violently ill, began hissing, foaming at the mouth and biting itself. He had called me and said that, what, that we just had to let the cat die because they don't deal with live animals. He told me to contact, try and contact a vet and maybe get it put down which I tried. I tried so hard. I could hear from inside my house just screaming in pain this cat. It was like the most disturbing thing ever. Despite spending hours on the phone talking to vets, animal control officers, county staff and the CFIA, no one would come to help. The cat died a few days later and the Schlichters say they were told by a CFIA employee to put the carcass in a freezer or keep it on ice until someone could come pick it up. He said that the government would not pay him overtime to come out here on a Saturday to pick up this then dead cat. Three weeks later, the Schlichters were told they had to get rabies vaccinations and their own pet cats were removed and destroyed. The Alberta Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals says it has a number of questions about the way this case was handled. The SPCA says rabies is federally listed as a reportable disease and the CFIA, according to their own published protocol, is the agency that has the authority to respond. They say animal owners, veterinarians and laboratories are required to immediately report the presence of an animal um, that is either contaminated or suspected of being contaminated and it says um, control measures will be applied immediately. According to the Manual of Procedures, which is posted on the CFIA website, veterinarians from the agency are to conduct field investigations whenever a domestic animal is reported to have symptoms of rabies. The SPCA says, based on the information it has, it appears the family acted responsibly by contacting the proper authorities and following the instructions they were given. Terry Vogt, CTV News, Lethbridge. The SPCA says it has made similar calls to the CFI in the past and the government agency has always responded with trained people to deal with cases like suspected cases of rabies. They say the only other advice they can provide to people is that people taking in strays should have the animal checked by a vet before bringing it into your home or exposing it to your other animals.